Hello my loves and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Chloe. It's lovely to have you here. I'm an artist slash illustrator living in Derbyshire in the UK. And this is my little channel. I imagine there's like some sprinkles going on. Um, go and grab yourself a beverage. I've got an iced vanilla pumpkin spice latte. I used vanilla syrup and the pumpkin spice moaning syrups. Um, it doesn't taste quite like Starbucks, but close enough. So it's lovely to have you all joining me today. It's Wednesday, the 6th of September. Can't, I really can't believe it's September already. It's insane. Um, I don't have a huge amount to say. I've got some stickers that I need to print off and get ready and just like odd little bits that I need to get ready for a shop update. But this is gonna be like a little mini couple day vlog leading up to my shop update on Saturday which is exciting and yeah I'm just gonna stop rambling because I don't actually have anything planned to say so let's um get using the Cricut. I mentioned in my last studio vlog that my Cricut forced an update on me um and I haven't used the print and cut feature since I've used like just the normal cutting feature to cut some vinyl for my screen printing but I've not actually tried a print and cut so this could go horribly um I've uh, I've got quite a bad experiences with the cricket recently so we shall see if it actually does want to work if it doesn't I will cry because I really won't know what to do I'm also using a different type of paper so I have no idea what settings I need to use for it default setting is to just use the washi is it washi sheet or washi stickers I think it's washi sheet on um design space and I've used it on default but I think I might need to use it on more pressure we shall see While the cricket's doing its thing, I'm gonna finish editing this studio vlog that's going up today, Wednesday. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a long one because it's all of my screen printing stuff. So hopefully you would have seen it before this video anyway. And then I've also got some um, Happy Mail to open. Oh, you can't really see. It's from Bella and Archie Studio. It's one of the stalls that was at the creative makers market in one of my other videos and i saw this notepad my mum's just recently started a job this week a new job um and we have this thing with robins um it every time we see a robin it reminds us of my granddad my mum's dad and i don't want to start crying i can feel it happening already um i saw this little notepad with a little robin that she, um, they've illustrated on it and I just knew I had to get it for my mum <laughs> as a little um, like new job present so I mean I might as well open it now that I've like spoke about it so much but, but yeah I just hoped it'll bring her some luck for this new job Little fox, this is definitely going up on the wall. Arty Fox Studios, obviously. And then this is the little notepad. It is so sweet, and I just thought it's the perfect size to go in my mum's handbag. <laughs> and uh, 
it doesn't take up too much space so it can sit quite happily on a desk so i'm gonna wrap that up as well i think um and go, give that to her when she comes home but yeah so cute i will link them down below and i'll pop like their instagram stuff on screen but yeah it's bella and archie studio how sweet are they <laughs> very cottage core but very like i'm so excited i'm also actually gonna try and salvage this um this little robin sticker on here because it's too cute to um to not keep I think I'm going to stick it in my journal or in my sketchbook. But how cute is that? Too cute. And the stickers are finished. So, oh, they have cut slightly off. I don't want to have to go through all of this all over again. That's one calibration sheet done. And it looked okay so we're gonna try and cut some stickers again I really don't know how it's gonna go and I want to cry because yet again before the update it was working fine or someone's going through and favoriting some of my stickers <laughs> always makes me really really nervous when I see that Etsy notification pop up see how that goes but yeah it's <laughs> I'm starting to get stressed and I don't know why because I can't predict what the cricket's gonna do I think that's why I'm stressed but I know I shouldn't let it get to me there was a solution last time so there has to be a solution this time as well even if it is getting a different machine. Okay, so, so far it's it's looking like it's cutting accurately. So hopefully these will be the only ones that will be going into my B grade pile. I've got quite a lot of stickers in, in that pile to sort out. Um, so I'll be putting up some new like little bundles and stuff in my shop update, but they are they are cute anyway regardless of the fact that they are like off center they are very very cute
in true Chloe fashion, um, I had literally just finished cutting this sticker sheet out and um, I decided to eat my lunch too close to where I had put this down and I managed to get pickle juice all over it, destroying it. So good job, good job Chloe. <laughs> I've seen a few people on Instagram do this, but I've decided on my order tracker that every five um, orders are gonna get an extra like little bonus freebie in their order. Um, but yeah, I've already posted it on my story, but I just thought I'd let the vlog know as well. But yeah, so the next order will be getting a little bonus freebie and then the order after that will be order number 10. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see how that plays out. I can go back on my wall now. Ugh, right. I'm still editing the vlog. Um, and I'm still cutting out stickers, so nothing has really changed. Um, I need to decide how I'm going to put my branding on the tote bags. I have got these little like heat transfer um, like vinyl things that i made a couple of weeks ago and um, it just has my logo on it so i'm thinking i might use those because i don't really want to screen print if i can avoid it to be honest with you because i just i can't be asked to get all of that out and get the vinyl down and do the whole process all over again and it'll take forever to dry and i'm just just not into it so that's what i'm thinking i might do because i have to get the heat press out anyway to diffuse the ink so who knows but that's where we are at and I think I showed earlier but yeah this is how I've decided to just wrap up the um wrap up the notepad I think it looks really really cute <laughs> but yeah nice little nice little bow ready for mum but yeah so I'm gonna leave it on her desk, I think, until she gets home from work. Cause she is like in an office for the time being. I think she's supposed to be hybrid, but right now she's working in the office. But yeah. And the fan is making me go crazy cause it's making my hair go everywhere. But um, yeah, that's all I have to update. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say. I might go make another coffee.
it's 10 past six and I'm having to do more calibrations on the Cricut, massive shock. Um, every single one of these, there's nine sheets I think in total of um, this clown character sticker sheet that I've been working on. I think it's very, very funny. I think it's one of the best ones I, that I've done. Um, a little Ronald McDonald with a little Happy Meal box. Um, and obviously we've got Pennywise. Um, we've got the clown from, is it like Terrifier or something? Or like Art of the Clown? something um we've got obviously the joker the heath ledger version and the newest version uh we've got twisty from american horror story yeah very very um creepy cute i really like it but not a single one has cut right so i think i might be calling it a day because um i'm starting to get really annoyed with this cricket again I'm calling it a day. It's 10 past seven, so I'm gonna head home. I did another two tests on cartridge paper for the sticker sheets. Got the last one to cut perfectly. Put another sticker sheet in. Did it cut perfectly? No. So I am calling it a day and I'm gonna sort it out tomorrow. So I really, really cannot be dealing with yet another cricket crisis. So. <laughs> there is that anyway i'll catch you guys tomorrow i apologize if you can hear the fan and the cricket it's not a huge amount i can do about it it's about 29 odd degrees today or it's set to be as high as 29 degrees and i'm not coping very well anyway um what i've actually started the clip for um i've been doing calibrations and test cuts all morning and it's not working. I'm doing my first sticker sheet cut out after doing like five maybe perfect cutouts on cartridge paper and I can immediately see that it's cut off centre. So even though it's set to the same size, it's the same file, I've literally changed nothing other than just print printed two and then put one in after the other. So which is what I've been doing with the normal cartridge paper anyway. So I am gonna have a go at restarting my computer and like closing the software down and restarting it. I'm not ready for a round two of this whole cricket disaster. Um, so I don't really know what, what else to do because it's gonna be the same issue as last time. I had an update forced on me and it's clearly broken whatever in the software. So I find it no coincidence that they've just announced like the, the Joy Extra machine <laughs> and now my machine isn't working again. So um, yeah, not even close to I don't actually know if you can see that. It's just gonna be extremely blurry, isn't it? Yeah, it's like about two, two or three millimeters off. I mean, some of them are fine. It's literally just like the lower half of the stickers just isn't where it needs to be. I'm just restarting my laptop. Why is it whenever I go to do any kind of like shop update or try and get my orders out, I have issues with the Cricut? I'm not saying it's intentional sabotage, but I don't want to have to like bore you guys with another video of my cricket breaking again. So I am probably going to skip a whole bunch of this <laughs> until I get it figured out. So I'll see you guys when I have an update. I feel like I've done like a million and one like tests and like test printing cuts to see if I can get it working. I've done software reset. I've reinstalled the software. I've restarted my computer. I've unplugged and left the Cricut off for like 10 seconds and then did 30 seconds and then did a minute. Restarted the software again. And I'm hoping that is it now. Like checking each little bit. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. 
I'm going to cut another sticker sheet out because two are fine. One is kind of up and down. So let's try again. But I think I'm touch wood. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking it's it's done. I, it's literally taken ages. I've been doing this since eleven, and it's now nearly half one. So it's it's been a few hours. I haven't done anything other than this. I was going to sit and draw for a little bit, but then I I got kind of trapped in a a doom scroll on tiktok <laughs> so that's where we're at so hopefully this is a, uh, a a positive update because i don't want to do this anymore <laughs> i'm so sick of the cricket just not working it's working so i guess false alarm um but yeah i now i now have a perfectly cut sheet I totally jinxed myself while I was cutting out these new thank you freebie prints and my new like sticker backing sheets. I turned my back literally for like two seconds, cut a different sticker sheet out and it's all off center again. I don't know why this keeps happening. So now I'm testing on a sheet of cartridge paper the worst thing is like the top half is fine it's now 20 past six i have got a fat stack of um b grade sticker sheets i've got about 30 sticker sheets here both new designs and old designs that i've tried to like restock i've gone through about half a stack of paper um, in between doing my sticker sheets because obviously I didn't want to waste sticker paper because it's expensive and um, yeah I'm fed up really and I've tried to print out some of my cowboy frog hearts and there's only like four on the whole sheet that are actually like accurate the others have cut incorrectly I don't really know what to do anymore other than perhaps cry because this is a joke. I apologize if you can hear the fan in the background. It's about like 33 degrees today. It's ridiculous and it's awful and I'm a horrible sweaty mess. Um, but it's shop update day. So I thought I would quickly run through everything that I've uploaded onto my shop um and i'll link everything down below so you can go and check it out and if you like the look of it you can buy it because it's available now um first things first screen printed tote bags obviously you saw me doing these in the last video i think i don't know can't remember what order i've put vlogs up in um but yeah screen printed totes i have a grade and b grade bags available so the b grades are slightly misprinted still eligible eligible still legible and obviously like still function as a tote bag they're just slightly misprinted so they're slightly cheaper i've then got the two um button badges that i made a couple of videos back i think it was um but yeah i have those available these are all the clowns i ended up working on for this sticker pack yeah, you get six little clowns they are now available i have got if i can actually pick them up off the table i've got these two autumn planner sticker sheets they come as a bundle or you can buy them individually i have this iconic clowns character sticker sheet you get six clowns ronald is prob probably my favorite people went nuts for him on instagram but yeah, these are all the stickers. What else have I got? It's just in a mass pile on my desk at the moment because I was taking photos. Um, got Art Club sticker sheet. Is that everything? Is that everything? I put a couple of the Halloween sticker sheets. So this one, and I think it's like, these ones are in a bundle as far as I'm aware. I think it's these ones. I'll, I'll, a photo i'll link everything down below anyway but yeah i've got 
quite a few bundle options available and I think that is everything and I don't think I've actually showed you guys either the uh the finished freebie print for this month obviously same back as last month but how cute is this um and yeah free with every order and obviously you get a if I can grab one freebie sticker to match so you can't go wrong with that can you but yeah that's everything thank you so so much for watching everything will be available by the time that this video is up and while well, you're watching it so check the description box down below and yeah thank you so so much for joining me and i'll see you in the next one bye